there YouTube. I hope you are having a blessed day. Today we are doing a short video project. This is going to be a sublimation print and what you're seeing on the screen right now is my old iPad Pro. It's a first gen. It's old and slow but I am using Adobe Fresco and I am drawing a vector image and that's what you're seeing here on the screen. Uh, I've been doing a series of drawings that are kind of abstract flowers and this one we are actually going to follow through the process and print it out on a shirt and at the end you'll be able to see the shirt with me stuffed in it. Instead of finishing the whole meal maybe I should ask for a box. I'm using the various drawing tools, filling them in with color, so you can just enjoy watching the show here. It's a very cold and windy day here on the mountain. I hope you are staying warm and safe. Okay, I am using some 32 degrees cool shirts for my sublimation printing. They're 100% polyester and they're stretchy and for the winter time they are extremely warm and snuggly. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to put your t-shirt on the press and you want to use your handy dandy lint roller. And you just want to make sure that the surface has no lint. Okay. And then the next step is Sanjay is going to put some plain copy paper in landscape mode. Landscape, not portrait. And this will protect the inside of the shirt and the back of the shirt. The next step is you want to make sure that everything is straight and lined up. And for t-shirt fronts, the sublimation print that I designed is about 8 by 10. So it should go about maybe three fingers down. So you want to make sure that all of this is pressed, fresh press. That way it takes any moisture that might be sitting in the air in the, in the fabric out because you want this to be dry. And so you're going to turn your press on, get it heated up, and you're going to make sure that everything is lined up square. And you're going to press it, and then you're going to let it completely cool off. And in the meantime, you can be printing out your sublimation print. Okay, I decided to flip the shirt around, and I have slipped it over the, the platen, and... I've made sure that it's the same amount of space and this is about four inches down. I have my paper already. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up the sublimation printer, which is, this is an Epson and it's a eco tank printer. You can see the big tanks there that you can refill. I have to send the file to Acrobat and as I told you in my previous quilt label sublimation tutorial, we have to print it out in reverse. And I can show you, this is what we're gonna be printing out. I have a very subtle background in the back and I have a, a pot and my logo and all the flowers. And it's just gonna be a very simple print. So I'm gonna, when I send it to the printer, I'm going to mirror it. I have Acrobat opened and I am gonna go up here to my print and that's the printer I want, my Epson ET2850. And I'm gonna go into properties. I want high quality and I want it to be landscape. And I'm going to go to more options and I'm gonna click on mirror. And that should be it. At this point, we're just going to hit print, uh, print okay. And now, again, it doesn't show the mirror in the dialog box, but the printer knows that it is supposed to be reversed. Thank you. 
Okay, here is our friend out. And it is going to be dull on the paper. It doesn't become vivid until it fuses to the polyester fiber. And at this point, this looks good. So we're going to pull this around and we're going to turn it on over here. And Sanjay's going to. So you're to okay, so we're going to be doing 385 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds. And that is for the plain paper, which this is. This is plain, cheap copier paper. It is not sublimation paper. And again, it's very dull on the paper. It will become much more vivid once this is heated, he heated up. And it seems to be quite cold right now. So this is probably gonna take me about 10 minutes. And the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to press the t-shirt to get any moisture out and make sure that it's nice and flat. All right, the press has reached temperature and I'm just gonna lower the top for a few seconds, doesn't have to be long, maybe like 10 seconds, and that should be good. And now we're gonna swing this out of our way so we don't get burnt. Okay, this thing swings. Clamshells can actually move your transfer and they can move the shirt and all those other things that we don't want to happen. This thing comes down flat, so that's what we want. Now I've given this a press. And I'm going to let it cool down. Yeah, it's still nice and warm. All right. So we want to go down about four fingers. So that would be about here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to center the pot. I think that's going to be pretty straight. Now we're taking some heat transfer tape. This does not burn. It's high temperature. And we're going to tape our transfer down. And this is a bit of an, just an insurance so it doesn't move. All right, so we're going to take some extra paper and we are going to place it over this and then we're going to take a Teflon baking sheet and place that over it as well. And now we pull this forward. Do not touch this. It's very hot. I'm going to go down and we're going to do it for, I think, 35 seconds. Now, if you're not going to be printing anymore, you can turn it off so you don't get burned. And I'm going to just pull this off and I'm going to let it cool off. Okay, Sanjay's going to remove the tape and the print. Oh, look at how pretty that is. All right, let me turn this around and get it off the printer and I'll come back and show you. It's nice and bright. It's vivid. The flowers are real pretty. I used pink and orange. And this will not fade. You could pour bleach on this and it will not come out. It has permanently fused to the fabric and it will not come out. You can, and you can see all the really nice crisp details. So there is our first sublimation t-shirt. Again, this is 100% polyester, but it is perfect for the winter time. It'll keep you really nice and warm. And as you can see, it really shows up quite nicely on this. You can do other colors. There are methods where you can use a colored polyester shirt. You can put some bleach on it and bleach out a patch for your whatever you're trying to transfer on there. And you can actually put the bleach on it after you've done the sublimation and the, it will not come out. Color will come out of the, the fabric, but the print, the sublimation print will not be bothered at all by pure bleach. Or yes, or you can bleach it ahead of time and give yourself a nice like tie dye or hand painted look it'll be you know it'll be modeled kind of like the background on this print is and you can also do it on cotton there is a powder that you can take your print your piece of paper and you can put it in this powder and the powder will stick to the ink then you kind of 
liquefy it a little bit with a heat gun or with a press and you can actually coat it twice to give yourself a little more insurance and then you can put it on a cotton shirt but again the cotton shirt using that powder is going to make it a little bit plasticky it's going to be like a standard t-shirt transfer where you can actually feel the where you can actually feel the the transfer, the, pic the picture that you put on the t-shirt. You can actually feel it. You can feel the edges, but this has fused to the fibers of the shirt. You can't feel it. There's absolutely no difference in how it feels up here than how it feels here. It is soft and smooth. It's vivid and I really like it. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this little project of mine and it really helps if you look at the camera when you're talking to the camera and I keep looking at me. No, no, cut. Rather than the picture. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to hit the like button. Please do leave a comment so that I know you were here. Please do, please, please, please do hit that subscribe button and ring that little ding-a-ling. So you know when I post a new video, I'll be doing more sublimation t-shirts. This is a lot of fun. I have several prints that I've already created. We can have a lot of fun with it. We could actually even take some white cotton fabric and we could put the powder on the transfer and then iron it onto the cotton fabric, the white cotton fabric, and then we could actually make a quilt out of it. So that's another idea. You could do a pretty little baby quilt. Uh, if, you, if you can tolerate the thought of having polyester in a quilt, I have some beautiful polyester shirting that is smooth and soft, and it looks and feels just like cotton, quilting cotton. So that would show up really nice, and you could make beautiful quilts out of it that way. So again, unfortunately, it's polyester polyester but you know if you all you're doing is like a baby quilt and you have alternating blocks here here is the cotton uh, the polyester fabric and it looks just like quilters cotton so you can fuse your image to this and then you could do a little baby quilt with an alternate block you could do whatever favorite quilt block you have and then alternate it with some pictures that you've made that would be a beautiful quilt and it would be very personalized you could put baby's name you could put baby's date of birth their weight any type of information you want to put on there you could also do the same thing for a wedding you could do a small wall quilt that includes a scan of the actual invitation and a picture from the wedding. You could have lots and lots of lots of fun with this process. So don't be afraid of the polyester. The quilt police hate. We're gonna polyester is not evil. There are some polyesters that frankly are evil, but don't worry about it. So there you have it, people. Thank you so much for watching. Please do remember to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, share, the, share my videos with your friends on your social media, and I will see you right back here at 70 Acres Studio for the next project. God bless. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, Gamble.